and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, my name's Elizabeth. My channel name is Shy Town Girl. I hope everyone is doing well. It's Sunday. Man, such a temperature change here on the East Coast from the other day to today. It's chilly. It's even like wear a sweatshirt and wear another sweatshirt over it. Um, other than that, same old shit, different day of the week. All right, hopefully everyone is, well, let's see, what time is it? Well, it's not even noon here on the Eastern Coast. So um, it's Sunday. Hopefully you have a chance to kick back a little. If this is not a work day for you, I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. It's actually the other half of the Dollar Tree haul from yesterday. So I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm going to jump right into it. All right, let's go. Where do I begin? Okay, this was a cool find. So I found this pole. It's actually a garden tool handle. I'm going to have to probably back up some here because this is huge. Um, if I give you a measurement, hold on. I got my measuring tape here. It is 48 inches in length. Okay. So for, and there goes my tape measure. So 43 inches in length, length at one end, you have got this mechanism here, which is you're going to put all your attachments on. So how cool is this? They had all these different, okay, bloopers. <laughs> I guess my coffee hasn't kicked in yet. It's literally right to the right of me. Okay, so you have all these attachments. So you have this rake and then what, I mean, this is covered in, actually, let me see if I can, hold up, hold up. Oh yeah, I was. Okay. All right. Let's see if I can get this to work for you. So basically you're going to take one end and you're just going to twist it on like so. And then here you, here you have it. Man, this thing is huge. You have this rake. Okay. Now, oh, I got to be careful over there. Also, they had a different attachment, which was this rake. So I'm not going to put um, each one on because I'm going to end up probably breaking something here in this room. So then they had this for doing leaves. Same concept. You just twist it on. They also had this shovel spade, little spade shovel that you twist on. And you can see my hand. So these aren't small, but I mean, really? How cool is that? They also had, and I took this out of the packaging because I want to share it with you. So the only piece that I am missing, I was able to get this piece, this piece, this piece. I just didn't find this piece, but they were just setting it all up. Now, this actually belongs on here, but I took it off because it comes like this. And what this does, it's a garden tool hanger. So you're going to get two screws on the back here. You're also going to get sinkers to put into your wall so it doesn't pull out. You have a little hanger that you can use right here. But what's going to happen is, is your tools are going to fit right inside these grippers. Voila. So hang it up on your garage wall, your ba your bathroom wall. Yeah, you need tools like this in your bathroom, right? Well, I guess it depends on what you're mowing, right? No, I'm serious. Oh my God. <laughs> Leave it to me to get into trouble, right? Okay, so anyways, you attach your pieces, and then when you need them, boing, just pop them back out. So you see all these rubber grippers here? That's how you attach your pieces in there. You could go lower if you wanted to, but then it's really not going to sit like that. To each his own, you could do that too if you wanted to. It's completely up to you. So I thought, how fun is that for someone who maybe just moved into their first apartment and say they're on their lower level? And they are going to do a little garden or something. Or maybe it's just a little something you keep in a back shed so you're not dragging stuff back and forth. I just thought it was super cool. Also for outside, I came across the new garden flags. These are 12 and a half inches by 18 inches. And there's no mise on them. I think this one is different from last year. I don't remember. I don't have my stuff out right now, obviously, because it's too cold. But let me open this one up and share with all of you oh how cute is this so first of all you get this nylon white string and then here it's a little bit wrinkled but there's the actual sign itself look it's got little shroomies on the bottom isn't that just adorable 
OMG. So I did get an extra one. So if somebody would like to have my extra one, you're just gonna need to do a couple things. You're gonna have to give me a thumbs up and make a comment in the video down below. We'll see who pays attention for that little giveaway. Okay, so I'm just gonna play it off real calm and cool. Let's see what happens. All right, so let's stay with outside things. These are so cute too. I know you hear me say that all the time. So cute, so cute. But you know what? Everything is so cute. For those of you that are gonna ask me what my sweatshirt says, it says, love who you love, is what it says. A little bit big, it's a lot of bit big. All right, so staying with Nomi's, check it out. These are garden stakes. Now let me measure these for you. Oh yeah, that fell on the floor. Just having one of those days. All right. These are made of metal, thin metal, 24 inches in height. Are you ready? Here's the back side. But ta-da! Oh, look at the gnomies. I know. Patty's rolling her eyes at me. Anyways, and I know I'm saying that in a joking way. This is the other one I found. So one says America and one says welcome. I have no idea if there's any more than this. These, look at his little mouth. And this one's just smiling. Isn't that cute? I have no idea if there's more styles. These are just what I found in my local store. So I did get a couple extra. They're so cute. Then I found these little trucks and cars. Oh, they're adorable. I don't even know which one to show you first. So let's start with this one. This one says, welcome friends. Now look at the detail in that. Look at those pansies. I think those are pansies, aren't they? Are those pansies? They might be petunias. No, I think they're, I'm not sure. My mom is looking down going, Elizabeth, you should know better. But look at the color in that. Isn't that just so cute? I love that they painted it so well. So this one's 12, uh, 24 inches as well. Then I found this one here. It's a little tractor. If you have a farm or you're into farm stuff, isn't this just too cute? I know, too cute again. So I just thought it's so pretty. And here it says, hello spring. Look at the paint job. Look, they did the, the uh, exhaust out there. Adorable. Last but not least, look at this. Such pretty. Welcome friends. Look at the detail in the flowers. It's so pretty. So obviously your backsides aren't painted, but what a pretty, say you're giving someone I gave somebody a rose bush one time for Mother's Day, and um, I got not this, but something similar to this, and I stuck that in there because it just made a, a little extra pop. So fun things like that. They're so cute. And then I have those pinwheels that I got. So my yard is going to be like bling city. Okay, went down the sewing section and uh, came across this, and I was like, you know what? I need one of these. It's an embroidery needle um bundle so basically you have velcro on the back and you just put it over your wrist and strap it on so that way you're not sticking pins in your mouth and stuff like that you stick them right into there and then just like a seamstress it stays right on your wrist so that was a fun find never saw anything like that before um let's go to a few things i found in the easter section all right so Easter stuff, I did pick up some more of these Whoppers, um, four ounces in these. They are white like this, but taste exactly like a regular Whopper, but I needed some more for a basket. I did grab some of the Charms Blow Pop Minis. These are three ounces and they're resealable and the flavors are watermelon, blue raspberry, what else do we have here? Cherry and sour apple. Yummy, yum, yum. How cute are these little containers? You just tear it off from the top here and then you can reseal it. I love these things, they're so good. Okay, um, oh, this is cute. Look at this little bunny. It's a pail, it's made of metal. How big is it? It's so cute to put little treats in. It's five inches and I'm not including the handle, but look at the little bunny. And then they have the handle that's done in a pink. But how cute is this? And it's just white on the back. How cute is this for, you know, put some treats in there. And I don't have any treats. In, well, I do have some treats in front of me. 
All right, so just an example, real quick off, off the top here. All right, say you have a friend, coworker, there's a doctor's office, you really like somebody there, to, whatever. Just a couple little things in the basket with some greenery, meaning your Easter grass. And how cute is that just to, you know, that's, you know, three seventy five dollars for somebody that, you know, you don't have to spend a lot of money. It's the thought that counts. It is the thought that counts. Just too cute. First time seeing one of those types of pails. And then as I was looking at the Easter baskets, I saw these and went, oh, oh these are just too cute. So these are made of, I guess this would be considered felt. Yeah, it's made of felt, so very, very delicate, okay? Let me give you a measurement for these. They had a pink one and a blue one, and I got one of each. They're six and a half inches in height and 10 inches on the bottom. Are you ready? Look, oh my gosh, is that precious? It's a Nomi Easter basket or a pail, whatever you would like it to be. Now, when I said it's six inches, I just measured from here to here. I didn't include the whole handle, but isn't that adorable? And then I found the pink one, same exact size. So there is the pink one. Isn't that just, I, can't, I feel like I shouldn't say two cutes anymore because so many have been, Okay, I can't do that. I have to say what I feel, and I think they're adorable. So there. I think they really are too, too cute. <laughs> I love the fact that they did them in all different colors. I didn't see anything more than blue and pink, so I'm really not sure. But, yeah, those are so cute. Oh, my gosh. Too cute. All right, moving on. Uh, this was a fun. Well, everything's always a fun find, but more fun finds for, like, Easter baskets. These are called... Click and snap, spelling click with a K. Actually, this is what they look like. And it's a sensory toy, and it basically says, unlock your brain. So they have this one in this color, and this one in this color. I've never seen these before. I'm trying to get the glare off for you. I've never seen these before, but I thought, wow, these kind of look like, you know, fun to play with. So I could definitely see where this would keep someone's attention. You know, um, obviously I have um, a couple of nieces and nephews that have autism and things like this um, really, really help. And I actually like doing them myself as well. I did find some more of the blind balls and I saved them. I didn't open them, but I'm going to share them with you guys. So I, oh, let me see if I can open it first. I'm not even going to mess around with it. I'm going to go straight to my scissors because I know what's going to happen. So bear with me just a moment. Oh, that one was simple. All right. So I don't know if the last time I did a video, I mentioned out loud. I said, if my niece Jenny in Chicago is watching back home, she's going to love this owl. And it was funny because she sent me a message. She's like, Aunt Beth, I watched your video and I do love that owl. <laughs> All right. So here's the ball. You just basically pop it up. Well, you try to pop it apart. And, oh, look at this little dude. Oh, he's so cute. He almost reminds me of like a character on Sesame Street. Isn't he cute? So I think there's six to the set. So now I have three different ones. Now I have another one. Hold up, hold up. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six different ones. And so far I have three out of the six. So I have another ball here. Let me slice it open. These are like lottery tickets for kids, you know? Can't just have one, like a Pringles. But I'm just a big kid too. All right, so let's see what we have here. There's the ball. And they pretty much just twist and click apart. Sometimes they're easier than other times. They pop. Sheesh. Okay. Oh my gosh, we got the unicorn! -y! Holy crap! So I have, what, four out of the six now. Well, now I'm definitely going to be on the hunt for the other two. How did I pull that off? Because there was like buckets of them just dumped out in bins down like the Easter Isles. All right, a couple other little things of some new squishy toys. These are just adorable. Oh, my gosh. They're cupcakes. Look at how cute these are. So you see it's got the shape of like a cookie, a cookie of a cupcake 
paper and then there it is is that adorable how about putting something like that on a tiered tray my tiered trays right now are so full i don't think you could probably um whoops i don't think i could make room to have you see much so i really can't get anything on there but this one is adorable now these are super squishy and they're fairly boom right back to shape so how much fun is something like this for an easter basket I found this one and I found this one and this one. I don't know how many different ones there were. I found six different ones and this one. These are cherries or supposed to be cherries. They're all, this one seems a little bit firmer than the other one I had. So I, I'm thinking they're different. Oh yeah, see how much squishier that one is? Where this one's a little bit firmer? Unless maybe after you play with them for a while, they get softer. All right, moving on. Then we have, look at the designs and the colors on that cupcake holder right there. When I say holder, I just mean the paper. And then there's the top. Yeah, this one's like super squishier. Last but not least, and of course, this is going to be my absolute favorite. Why? Because it's purple. Oh, my God. And it's simple, not crazily overdone. Love it. Absolutely love it. So, yeah, six different ones I came across. Again, I have no idea how many there are. All right, moving on. I think, oh, yeah, I had one more toy to share with all of you. So, this is, <clears throat> what did I say it was? When I was in the store, I looked at it. it. It's a top. But I was trying to think of the name I was trying to think of, and now I just lost my brain. Okay, never mind. Anyways, it's plastic. And then you have the ball that you just scoot along the floor, and then it spins and spins and spins. Well, I can't really do that very well in front of you, but I will spin it so you can see that it lights up. Ooh. So, hold on. Let me twist it. Okay. Why aren't you spinning? What am I doing wrong here? Live TV, everyone. Oh, there we go. So, whoop. Okay, come on. It was working, but maybe I'm not spinning it hard enough. Okay, so do you see the colors? There they are. There we go. Oh, my gosh. Sooner or later, Beth gets it. All right, so there's some of the colors that are on there. You get all different kind of colors that come out after you wind it up, but... Super fun, you know, simple stuff to entertain children rather than sit in front of the computers. I'm not not going to bash in anything. It's just my opinion. All right, moving on before I get in trouble. I found some more of the NYC sprays. The Salon Graphics SGX, the Peacemaker Beachy Textured Spray for Windswept Waves. This is 6.5 ounces. This is not a trial size. This is the full Monty. Not bad, right? So I did score two of them. I thought that was an awesome, awesome buy because this stuff ain't cheap in the regular stores. Okay, moving to the next item. I found this e.l.f. Duo Stick Shadow Liner. One side of the pencil is shimmer. The other side is a liner. So this is made by e.l.f. I'm actually going to rip this out of the package right now because I'm very curious. And I need a new liner to see what they mean, if it's really true. So we're going to do this side, which is the shimmer side. And then I'm going to show you the matte side. Yeah, I don't see too much of a difference. I mean, I guess maybe a little matte shimmer. But it's black, and that's all that matters to me. And it's dual-ended, so when one side breaks, falls off, I can always flip it to the other. Um which is, that's the way I look at it. Um, my mentality of a pencil stick. Okay, moving on. I have LED lighted tweezers. And then when I got this home, I'm looking at it going, shit, whoops, sheesh. I didn't realize that you had to spend a fortune for batteries, not just a regular battery, but this is an LED lighted tweezer. I thought, okay, that'd be cool for doing tweezers in the dark if you're plucking a hair or something. But you have to buy three batteries now this is where the money comes in 
The batteries you need are LR41, so they're like the round batteries. I didn't find any at Dollar Tree, so I mean, I'm not going to spend seven, eight bucks for batteries for something like that, but just so you know, just so you know, um, you do need those batteries. So, I don't know. I don't know what I'm feeling about that. I'm kind of up in the air. Okay, I do have one candy item to share with all of you, and I bought several because this was such a jump back to my childhood. I was like, oh my gosh. This is made by Candy Warehouse. Uh, Candy House, excuse me. They are made in the USA. They're actually right here in Ohio. Not right here, but in Ohio. Cincinnati to be exact. Are you guys ready? This is a 1.0 package. Cherry, lemon, and lime flavors. And who does not remember the dots? I was like, get out of here. What? Total summer 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 do you guys remember these dots the candy dots that you just bite off the wax paper are these just adorable i was gonna say too too cute but they have an expiration date of january 14th of 2024 so you have plenty of time i picked up a few for easter basket treats this is such a fun fun memory it's like omg total total cute town all right what else do i have here this was um I was looking for. Who did I see haul this? I don't remember. Um, raw sugar, simply hand wash. Uh, nine fluid ounces. That is a gargantuan bottle for sure. If you have not tried this yet, it's amazing. It'll make your hands super, super soft. They do come with a little secure thing there, which I just love. I wanna take it off here because I wanna see something. They had one open in the store that I smelled, and it smelled amazing. But I want to smell it here at my house. Oh, the best. <sighs> oh, um, it just smells so good. It would be something you would think that just came off the shelf at Bath and Body Works. It's a. It's. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. it. It's. It's just a smell of its own. It's great. And if you think about warm sugar coconut mango you know like tropical stuff to put on your skin it says raw coconut and mango but it just smells so much more it's just a wonderful scent anyways this is what it looks like on your hand well i got those marks on there but you just put a little bit out like this and it's like a clear gel and then just follow the instructions on the back side and you will be good to go I used this stuff many, many years ago, probably over 20 years ago. And it's just as good now as it was then. So finding that at Dollar Tree is definitely a bang for your buck. All right, everybody, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up for now. Thank you so much for watching. I got a whole bunch of goo to get off me now. <laughs> Until next time, everybody, have a wonderful afternoon. We'll see you later. Bye for now.